You've probably had this moment. You walk past a mirror and pause because something feels off. Your face looks a little wider. Your legs seem strangely longer. Your shoulders? Not quite the shape you're used to. For a split second, your brain scrambles for explanations. Did I gain weight? Is my posture weird? Is this what I actually look like? But here's the truth that most people never think about. Some mirrors don't just reflect you. They subtly distort you. Let's dive right into it, right here on History of Simple Things. When we think of mirrors, we imagine perfect reflections, a flawless copy of reality. But real-world mirrors are far from perfect. Most mirrors are made from glass with a reflective metal layer behind it, and tiny imperfections in that glass can bend light in unexpected ways. Even the slightest curve, warp, or uneven thickness can change how light bounces back to your eyes. Now, not all mirrors distort intentionally, but some do. Curved mirrors are designed to manipulate perception, like funhouse mirrors that stretch or squash your reflection. More surprisingly, everyday mirrors can distort accidentally. Older or cheaper mirrors, or ones exposed to temperature changes, can develop microscopic bends invisible to the eye, but noticeable through the way light reflects, causing subtle changes in how your body appears. One of the main causes of distortion is simple, flatness. For a mirror to reflect accurately, it needs to be perfectly flat, but that's extremely hard to achieve. During manufacturing, glass cools unevenly, creating tiny surface waves. These microscopic imperfections bend light at different angles, which is why your reflection can look normal in one spot and slightly stretch just inches away. There's also the issue of how mirrors are mounted. A mirror that looks flat when leaning against a wall may warp slightly once it's glued, screwed, or framed. Pressure from clips or uneven walls can gently bend the glass over time. Gravity can even cause large mirrors to sag by tiny amounts. None of this is visible to you directly, but the light hitting that bent surface tells a different story and your reflection shifts in subtle ways. Lighting also plays a big role. Overhead lights, lamps, and sunlight can exaggerate or soften your features. Harsh light creates strong shadows that sharpen details, while soft light blurs them. When light hits a mirror at certain angles, it can make parts of you look brighter or darker tricking your brain into seeing changes in shape or size, even though your body hasn't changed. Distance from the mirror also changes everything. When you stand very close to a mirror, your field of view narrows and your perspective shifts. Your face might look larger compared to the rest of your body because it literally occupies more of the reflective surface in front of your eyes. Step back and suddenly your proportions normalize. This isn't the mirror distorting you, it's geometry playing tricks on your brain. Your eyes judge size by distance, and the mirror just reflects that illusion. Another factor that people rarely consider is your brain itself. Your brain doesn't passively observe reflections, it actively interprets them. You have a mental blueprint of what you think you look like. When the reflection doesn't exactly match that blueprint, your brain feels something is wrong. Sometimes the distortion isn't in the mirror at all. It's in the way your brain compresses, stretches, and edits what it sees. There's also a psychological side to this. Humans are highly sensitive to faces and bodies, so even tiny changes can feel huge to you. Mirrors don't just reflect, they trigger emotions. This is why skinny mirrors exist in clothing stores. Some retail mirrors are slightly curved to make you look slimmer, 
subtle enough that you don't notice it, but your brain reacts, making the outfit feel more flattering. Then there's the aging factor. Mirrors themselves change over time. The reflective coating behind the glass can degrade, develop dark spots, or lose uniformity. Heat, humidity, and cleaning chemicals can alter the surface. This doesn't always make the mirror blurry, but it can introduce tiny inconsistencies in reflection quality. These imperfections add subtle distortions that weren't there when the mirror was new. What makes this fascinating is that you've likely never seen a perfectly accurate reflection of yourself. Most household mirrors aren't perfectly flat, and even tiny imperfections in the glass can change how light reflects. Bathroom, car, hotel, and shop window mirrors use different materials and mounting methods, which affects how precisely they reflect images. And yet your brain stitches all of these versions together and builds a stable self-image. It averages them out. It assumes you look normal somewhere in the middle of all these reflections. That's why photos of yourself can sometimes feel shocking. A camera shows how others see you, not the flipped image you're used to. That's also part of why mirrors feel so personal. They show you a version of you that only you usually see. The real takeaway isn't that mirrors are deceptive or dangerous. It's that they're more complex than we give them credit for. A mirror isn't just a passive object. It's a surface where light, physics, perception, and psychology all collide. When you look into one, you're not just seeing yourself. You're seeing the result of thousands of tiny interactions between glass, metal, photons, and your brain. So the next time you walk past a mirror and think, why do I look different here? Don't panic. You didn't suddenly change shape. Your mirror didn't betray you. You just caught a glimpse of how fragile and fascinating visual reality really is. Because what you're seeing isn't a lie. And it isn't the whole truth either. It's something in between. A slightly bent version of reality that your brain turns into something familiar. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.